Let's be real here. The new generations of music lovers are minimalists. They are happy with just good enough. Using sound bars, Bluetooth speakers, earbuds, and headphones are all they need to consume the music they love. Let's find out if this hobby will survive if lifestyle products continue to command the market. Let's get to it. I want to dive right into this topic because I feel it's worth a watch and I know how quickly people will click off of video. I'm Mike on audio and if you're a fan of stereo systems and have a love for music, then you found a channel worth subscribing to. The world we live in is limitless when it comes to audio quality. Engineers are constantly besting one another with new technology allowing us to listen to music in ways we never thought possible. We find ourselves in a scenario where our audio technology can delve into greater depths, uncovering layers of sound uncharted until now. We are reaching a point where the production quality of certain music might not even fully take advantage of the capabilities of high-end hi-fi systems. So at this point, you might be wondering if high-end stereo systems are so fantastic, why aren't they being adopted like they once were back in the golden age of audio? Well, there are a few reasons why new generations don't care to cross over into our realm. When discussing the cost of entry into the hi-fi hobby, it's important to remember that we're not just talking about a single piece of gear or a one-time purchase. High fidelity audio involves a holistic approach an ecosystem, if you will, that includes various components, each with its own price tag. Basic hardware components such as speakers, amplifiers, turntables, CD players, of course, DAX, come with a broad range of prices, often stretching into the tens of thousands of dollars, sometimes even more. Coupled with the ongoing cost of acquiring music, whether through buying vinyl records, CDs, high-res digital files, or even subscribing to high-res streaming services, the financial aspect of the hobby becomes even more significant. Maintenance and the potential lure of upgrading to a better you know, situation can add additional layers to the overall cost. The cost of entry into the hi-fi hobby isn't just about the initial investment. It's an ongoing commitment that can require a substantial financial outlay over time. For young people, particularly those who might be students just starting in their careers or dealing with things like student loan debt, the cost of getting into hi-fi can be significant. The perceived value might not seem high enough to justify the expense, especially when there are cheaper alternatives available. All these costs associated with hi-fi equipment are set against a backdrop where many young people are used to accessing music for free or at a very low cost. With streaming services like Spotify and Apple Music, an entire world of music is available available at their fingertips for a nominal monthly fee or even for free if they're willing to listen to ads. In this context, the cost of entry into the hi-fi hobby can seem particularly frightening. Understanding hi-fi equipment and its setup is not as simple as plugging in a pair of earbuds to a smartphone. There are various components, each with their own specifications, that need to work harmoniously to produce high-quality sound. Amplifiers, speakers, turntables, decks, each piece of equipment has its own place in the audio chain and requires a certain degree of knowledge to choose and set up correctly. Without proper guidance, the learning curve can be quite steep. Then there's the art of listening itself, being able to appreciate the intricacies of high resolution audio to identify the subtleties that make the investment worthwhile. This is something that often comes with experience and guided learning. The information for all these aspects is available, yes, but it's scattered across various sources, websites, forums, YouTube channels. For a beginner, it can be overwhelming to navigate through the lingo, conflicting opinions, which are a lot, and just the sheer volume of information available. The lack of structured, approachable educational resources for newcomers can be a deterrent. Hi-fi isn't something that's generally taught or discussed in a formal setting like a school or college, and it's not necessarily a hobby that's passed down from generation to generation like it once was. This means that young people may not have a mentor to guide them into the hobby. The lack of a human element in teaching the basics, sharing the passion, and making the learning process enjoyable can make the prospect of diving into hi-fi audio non-existent. You can't embrace what you don't know and you can't know it if there isn't someone to teach it. Music for many people is about the emotional connection, the lyrics, the rhythm, or the memories a certain song can evoke. For these listeners, the delivery mechanism of the music might be secondary to the content itself. 
This is especially true for younger generations who've grown up in the digital age where music is readily available from a multitude of sources. Many young people have grown accustomed to listening to music via streaming services, MP3 files, or via YouTube, all of which often compress music files for easier transmission and storage, sacrificing some audio quality in the process. These formats, while not offering the best audio fidelity, provide accessibility, convenience, and a vast library of options. If a listener can enjoy their favorite songs and feel the impact of the music, they may not see a need to seek out a high-fidelity audio setup. In essence, the love for music might not translate to a love for the quality in which it's portrayed, especially if the listener is already content with their current listening method. The perceived enhancement that Hi-Fi Audio brings may not justify the added expense and effort required to some people. They might argue that the soul of a song isn't in the minute details revealed by a high-end speaker, but rather in the melody, the lyrics, and the feelings it evokes. While there's certainly a segment of young people who love music deeply, this doesn't automatically translate into an appreciation for high-fidelity sound reproduction. It's a gap that the hi-fi industry needs to address by showcasing the tangible benefits and improvements that a high-quality audio setup can bring to the music listening experience. Kef and Klipsch are ahead of the pack by having created high-quality powered speakers that resonate with a wider audience. Their offerings impress not only with exceptional sound quality, but also with the comprehensive features they provide. For newcomers, the world of hi-fi audio can be quite intimidating. The range of equipment options is extensive, each with its unique specifications and place in the audio chain. Brands, models, specifications, compatibility considerations, the sheer number of choices can be overwhelming. What's more, the audiophile community can sometimes come off as elitist assholes, potentially creating a barrier for novices. These factors can create a daunting image of the hobby, making it seem complex and exclusive rather than accessible and enjoyable. Understanding the value proposition of hi-fi is another challenging aspect. A beginner might wonder why they should invest a large sum of cash into a hi-fi audio system when there are far cheaper options available that are good enough. Right? This is particularly relevant when considering the cost to benefit ratio. While hi fi enthusiasts can certainly distinguish between different audio grades and appreciate the superior sound quality, this is not necessarily the case for everyone, right? Especially those just starting out with a budget. The value proposition is further muddled by the advent of digital audio technologies and streaming services. These platforms offer a trade-off convenience and accessibility at the expense of audio quality. To many young listeners, being able to access their favorite songs anytime, any place, anywhere outweighs the loss in sound fidelity. This context makes the substantial investment in a hi-fi system seem even less appealing. The intimidation factor and the struggle to perceive the value in high quality audio form a significant barrier for newcomers to the hi-fi hobby. Addressing these issues will require efforts from both the hi-fi community and the industry, simplifying the entry points, making the technology more approachable, offering demonstrations of the actual audible benefits, and fostering a welcoming community can all play a part in bridging this gap. Look, I get it. This hobby isn't for everyone. The days of the home stereo system, huge tower speakers, and vast physical media collections are slowly fading. We are here and now. The new generations don't really care about the ceremony that comes with the hobby. Many young listeners will prioritize the ability to listen to any song anywhere, anytime over the quality of that listening experience. There are also fewer visible role models in general, right, promoting hi-fi as a hobby. This is a roadblock. I remember when I was a kid and my dad used to take me to car shows occasionally. I loved going to these things because we got to see incredible supercars, the Batmobile, the Ghostbuster car. I remember sitting in this beautiful Cadillac and smelling the new car smell for the very first time. I actually remember it. This didn't mean my dad could afford to buy us a brand new caddy as much as I am sure he wanted to. This is the same for hi-fi shows and hi-fi magazines. I get it. 
it's fun to look at them and it's fun to listen to them. But if I brought home a pair of $50,000 speakers, I better figure out a good way to live inside of them. I know a huge part of this hobby is window shopping and daydreaming, but there is a reasonable entry point. You can have amazing sound quality and not break the bank. I'm here to bridge this gap. I'm here to help. I want to teach the younger generations that this isn't just a hobby for grumpy old men. Everyone can enjoy their favorite music in an elevated way without sacrificing their livelihoods. If you want to learn, comment below and I will try my best to answer as many questions as I can. I'm also on Discord. I want to thank you all for joining me today. It's great to see my community growing, right? It can't grow without all of you. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to lick the like button. You want to lick? Subscribe to the channel and ring the bell to get notified every time a new video is born. With all that said and done, I will see you in the next one, friends. Take care.